Hey guys, my name is Riven Phoenix, and welcome to the Structure of Man Learn to Draw the Human Figure from Your Mind training course. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we went through the concept of invention, where we were going through the process of proving to the mind itself as to how it could create its own rules of understanding the concept of figure drawing right so I showed you the beginning of the journey of your figure uh, drawing course and then this circle really signified the training that's involved in the structure of man and I also showed you the end journey proving to you that what I'm showing you here is obviously going to manifest into the figure drawing skill right so everything that I show you in these lessons they ha it has to be proven onto paper that what it, is, what it is that I am saying that you should be able to reproduce it and say that yes it is completely true. So in the previous lesson we went through the concept of invention right and that concept involved a very simple explanation of this that I could just draw out let's say this uh, shape over here put two circles here put a circle mark an X in it right because I was its creator of this concept I knew all the rules and I can artistically in any style keep drawing this over and over because I'm its master. So in the same way when we went through this training process through this figure we can do the same exact thing. Right so to do that we're going to now create the core structure of the figure meaning that we're just going to do the same exact thing but we're going to do it without looking at it we're going to prove that yes it has really imprinted in the mind. So to start out we're going to draw out the front of our invention of the human figure. So I, our first basic idea was in this concept of invention. Remember we know that in the end we will be able to draw the figure very fluid and very artistically but right now we need to train the mind to understand. So to do that we drew out here I want you to draw out a simple line here right. So this was the first initial idea that we had said right you all you have to do is to really just draw a line you divide this guy in half basically you can just eyeball it this gives you the area for the crotch and if you go from here to here divide in half approximately here you will get that the knees should be above this line when you divide from here to here in half you're going to get the bottom of the pec muscles from here from the crotch here you'll get the navel and from the bottom of the pec from the top you'll get where the area of the chin is. That's all we need and then all we did was draw out a very simple ball shape here for the head. Once we did this where the pack muscle, well, the bottom of the pack was in the chin, if we really just divide it in half put a V shape we knew that the clavicle is over here and from here to here if we go it halfway we know that the chest cavity is going to start meaning that this is the back of the chest cavity right because obviously it's going to be on an angle and we will understand as to why that is when we move through that process so I'm just telling you as to why I did that why I went up 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 right everything has a reason uh, to its reality in figure drawing so once we have this we can now just draw out like this ball shape nicely over here and we knew that the width of this is really the height of the head meaning that this is where the bottom of the pack is so if I did the the nipples over here meaning from here to here it's the same thing as here to here it's the same thing as here to here I just switched it right so once I have the nipples I know that obviously the 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 chest cavity is going to be going around like this notice that I'm just being very sketchy about this now right because this is the I the power of invention that allows it us, us to do this so here's the navel area here's the bottom of the, the pec muscles. So if you really just divided this in half and came down one more you would know that it just goes like this it curves up. So this gives us a very basic idea of the chest cavity. Right. So once we have this we wanted to now understand the pelvis area and that is very simple we just took from the navel and from the crotch and really it's just dividing this section in three different parts here. And once you have this you know that the love handle is going to be here basically the point of this and where this nipple is if we do drew an imaginary line we'll get this junction in here and it would go like this right so you can just eyeball that so let me explain this 
in a little more detail what happened here. See this? This is the, the nipple area here. This is the imaginary line going down. And this area here, if I had to magnify it, what happened here is that when I took that line down, I just picked a point here, over here, and it went like this and this, right? It's a junction. So this is the where your love handle is going to be. Your love handle is going to be here. This is the area for the uh, the crotch going. This is where your leg is going to be, right? So over here, I'm just going to do it this way. Just be artistic about it. And you'll see that as we move through these lessons, that we will clean up this understanding. Like these are like these fuzzy areas in the mind that doesn't completely understand, and that's okay because we don't want to give it too much information. We have to help it understand as to why things are the way they are. So once we have this, we then you okay, well, where we had divided this, where we had really just eyeballed this, that this was divided in three different sections, one, two, and three, it's really this guy here where we can just put the ball joint here, meaning that this ball joint really should be where this, see this chest cavity is? I'm just a little onto the right of this, and this will this is for the male, right? We're working on the male right now. So once we have the ball joints here for the legs, we really can just put down a line here for, let's say, this leg over here. And for the foot, we just did it like this. In this way, we didn't have to get into too much detail because we don't want to right now. But we're deciding how to learn. All right, so here is the, let's say, the other leg I can just put like this. And for this one, I'm just going to make the foot like this. Very simple, right? As we move through this course, everything will become much more real and with a better understanding of it. So here where the division was for the area for the, the knee, we just need to make sure that the knee should be above this line. And this will give us a basic under uh, the, the most basic concept of the figure. Right, so once we have this where the navel was and the and the nipple, we can just draw like this line here. Meh, right? For now, I just want you to draw this line, but usually you'll, as you go through this process, you'll be able to just eyeball it. Where the clavicle was, we had decided that where this top is and this is really just needs to be in the middle, going like this, and we get the ball joint. So we have to make sure of two things here. Once, one is that we got to make sure that this ball joint here, where this clavicle and this, it's going to be pretty much in the middle over here, right? It's just approximate. Obviously, this can move up and down, but we're just going to do it like this. And when we make this joint over here, we need to make sure that this thing does not collide at all with this. So I, I can't put it here because it will collide here. We need to give it here, put it here. So when we make the arm like this and we stop it here at the wrist where this is, Right, this is where the, the arm is, is just going to be flowing. Right, so we can do the same thing here again for this guy over here. And here, when I draw out the hand like this, the whole arm, I know where the, where the crotch is. I'm just going to cut it off here that this is where the hand is going to be. Right, so the wrist is based on the location for where the crotch is and where the navel is. If you do it like a pendulum, you know that the elbows are basically going to be just like this, right? So here we've proven onto paper that yes, the the concept of invention it is truly powerful because we will able to very rapidly create our own toolkit of understanding the basic core structure of the figure. So in the next lesson, we'll move forward from this and start to look at the back view of the figure, right? So you can clean up your drawings or uh, what I strongly suggest is that all the drawings that you do in this course is put them in a sketchbook, right? And you will actually see in just a few lessons as to why this is going to be so important for you, right? So if you wanna maybe tuck in this leg here or just uh, make the much more solid lines, you can do that, right? The drawing should go through a drawing process right in phases just like I showed you in the first lesson when I drew out this figure it went through a process of drawing right stages so getting to the habit of understanding your process once you've got this this is like a conceptual sketch and then just clean it up a little bit 
okay so i will see you in the next lesson thanks